What's up guys, Hoonbear here with another episode of Dark Souls 3, picking up right where we left off last time. We, uh, yeah, we just purchased that, um, the Farron Greatsword, and we're working on getting the, uh, stat requirements for it. So, we'll head into the next area, start collecting some souls, and hopefully we'll be able to get the proper stats for that today. Which would be awesome. In this episode, I mean. Definitely today. <laughs> I'm going to be recording quite a few episodes. I can actually two-hand it. If I want to just test it out real quick. Just to see what it looks like. So yeah, this thing's fucking big as dicks. It is a ultra great sword. Oh, sh that's the fucking... That's the dual wield attack. That's not the weapon art. Fuck. That's cool. I guess you can just... Is that just the weapon art? Yeah. So, the weapon art is just you parry with the dagger. That's it. But this, this is the two-handed attack. Doesn't cost any MP to use that. Holy fuck, that's crazy. Damn, okay. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to that uh, when we have the proper stats. But for right now, I'll try to do a little bit more Twin Blades action. Since I dedicated the resources to leveling them up. So yeah, now we have entered Le Catacombs. Le Catacombs of Le Carthus. And there is a secret area, actually, if you go down there, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to go the normal path first. So yeah, for any of you who have played Dark Souls 1 and have gone through the catacombs, you know how much of a fucking bitch that shit was. Not nearly as hard this time around because there's none of that necromancer bullshit that keeps bringing the skeletons back to life or any of that. They just... Like, as you saw there, I had to kill him twice. What the fuck? Hmm? <laughs> That was up there on the best uh, invasions I've ever in experienced. Okay, continuing on with our uh, objective. I'm going to not fight this guy on the bridge so I don't roll my ass off. This thing is really strong if you use the two-handed attack, because it gets double hit. And that's also really good for that ring I'm using, the uh, Pontiff's left eye, because it only procs after you get a certain number of hits. So with when you have a dual-wield weapon like this, it the hits stack up really quickly. Which allows you to get your health back really quickly. See, like that. Takes a certain number of hits for it to come up. Alright, so... Forgetting, like, what all is in this area exactly. Fuck you, Skeletor. I'll fuck you up. Shit. Whoa! Or one arm over here. One arm to Willy. Alright. Okay, that's. I've seen some pretty obvious traps, but that, that takes the cake right there. But I'm sure many people, including myself, have fallen victim to said trap. 
I pro I honestly probably would have hit that shit if the uh, message wasn't there. Not gonna lie. Super helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Message. Die, please. But yeah, if you saw his eyes were glowing. Whenever you encounter glowing eye skeletons and you kill them the first time, they come back to life and then you just kill them again. And then they're actually dead. So skeletons do get revived, but they only have two lives. Two lives, quote unquote. I don't believe you, so I'm gonna not go down there. I should uh, break out the great magic weapon too. I'll make using this shit a whole lot better. This guy's an asshole. Cause he shoot throws the fucking those daggers at you. On top of all of his bullshit. He fucking dashes around like that. Can't fucking can't hit him. So annoying. Doesn't look like skeletons are very weak to magic. But they're weak to fire, though. <laughs> oh, not really. Damn, that guy kicked my ass. Here, what did he drop? Kakiri and a Titanite shard. Nice. Well, those guys over there are big ol' assholes, so... So, uh, mm, uh... Ugh. 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 Um... Just fucking draw them out. Cause there's another one of these same dude somewhere else. I'm pretty sure the grammar of that sentence was totally- yeah, there he is. Totally botched the grammar of that sentence. Whoa, okay. Alright. So those guys are dead. I'm pretty sure there's like a very there's an NPC encounter at the end of this hallway down here. There's also a shitload of skeletons I missed spawn. Oh god, okay. Y'all are getting a little overzealous. Y'all need to just calm the fuck down. Take a chill pill. Yeah. Take a chill. Thank you. Now I think... Oh, maybe not. Hmm. There's supposed to be an NPC like waiting for you right here, but I don't, I don't know like what the requirements for that are. Oh shit! Oh, friend! Got him. Got him. Okay. I'm sorry. Now, see, that's the area. If you drop down there, it leads you to that spot right there. But where those? Fucking... Ow! Where those assholes are. But I don't know how to get over there, so. We're just gonna progress forward naturally. Now, there's another part in this area. First off, if you didn't read that uh, message, you gotta be wary of that shit. But there's also this friendly fellow, which I didn't know about, and if you kill him, he's like totally har harmless, he doesn't even attack you, but if you kill him, when the ball rolls back down, it breaks. And it leaves behind an undead bone shard. So yeah, I didn't get that until I went back at the end of the game to collect all the bone shards, and I had to look that up. So guys didn't know that, there's a little pro tip for you. you get a bone shard when you kill that guy, and you break the ball. Well, this area is also bitch, because you got those fucking dudes that throw the goddamn 
uh, dark energy, whatever. But there's also fucking pots around here that if you break, spawn those uh, energy projectiles or whatever. And if you're not careful and you break too many pots, you will just kill yourself instantly. So you gotta be, gotta watch out for that. Because normally, in any other situation, I would break all the pods. Like, in a heartbeat. But you can't do that here. And I'm pretty sure Hugh had glowing eyes, so he's gonna come back. Yep. Aww. Okay. So, there's a bonfire at the end of this passageway, so I'm gonna try and get there. Hopefully... No bullshit kills me. I'm pretty sure those are the pots that will uh, fuck you up. And there's also a trap back here. See right there where that uh, button is? What happens is if you break that... Uh, okay. I think it's the pots that have like the lids on them like that. As long as you don't break those, you'll be good. But yeah, if you break that pot there, and you accidentally hit that button, it shoots arrows and it destroys all the pots, and a whole shitload of those purple things come after you. Oh, there's some. And yeah, it will fuck you up. What does that milk ring do? Or whatever the fuck. Slightly boosts dexterity and obscures rolling. That sounds like something I want to use. Um, yeah, fuck the pl stone plate. Cool. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Oh god, that got dicey. Oh god, that got dicey. Oh shit. I'm gonna use the trap to fight him. Ah, oh, god! See what I mean? If you're not careful, those pots... <coughs> Sorry. They will gang up on you. Doesn't help with this fucking ass wipe. Throws them at you. Oh, you too? Fucking piece of shit. I'll fuck you up. Don't dare throw fucking dark magic grenades at me. I'll take you down. I'll take you down fucking town. Okay. Straight out of Estus. That's always nice. Um... If I'm careful here... There's a trap up there that I can trigger to help me take care of these guys. I just need to make sure I don't get, one, get hit by it, and two, uh, trigger these guys either. Shit. Shit. Go, 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 go. Okay, they're gonna chase me. Hit the button, hit the button, hit the button! Why didn't it hit him? Why didn't it hit him? Why did it not hit them? Oh, that's not okay. Maybe I can make them fall down there. Okay, cool. Made them fall down there. But that's unfortunate. Actually, no, that's not where I need to go. I need to go this way. Right? Yep. Another ball of friends. And then bonfires right here. Cool feckin' beans. Awesome. Okay. Now, do, I don't think I have enough to level up yet, do I? No. So... Let's do a little bit more exploring in this area. Ball gurgler. Then we should be able to level up 
So we get a few more souls. Because there are a few more interesting items down in this area. And there were rats there, if you guys didn't know. Just got squashed by the ball. The ball of doom. Oh, Jesus, I forgot about you. You're gross and nasty and scary, and I don't like you. Oh shit, you know what? I just remembered something. Oh no, I forgot about you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. And I'm dead. I totally forgot about that asshole. Yeah. God damn it. And I'm hollow now. Yay. <laughs> and let me run back down there and get my souls. God damn it. I totally forgot about him. Fucking dickwad. Whoop. Die. Die. Fucking ass. 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 Okay. <laughs> Our good old friends back there. Oh shit, I forgot about you. You should die. I don't like you. But yeah, for uh for anyone who hasn't played Dark Souls 1, Mr. uh Skeleton wheel buddies back there. These guys were the bane of everybody's existence in Dark Souls 1. Like, they were the most overpowered piece of shits ever. But luckily, they've toned them down a lot in this game. They don't do nearly as much damage, thank Jesus. Like, they would literally just roll into you and just take out all your health just just like that you would stand no chance since they, and since they did so much damage they just chew through your stamina too so you couldn't like block their attacks but yeah they're they're a lot easier to deal with now Now they're just funny. <laughs> Dodged it. I ain't, I ain't falling for your trap, I'm smarter than that. Karthus Blood Ring. Does that do the same thing as the Milk Ring or no? Boosts rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. That's honestly probably worth it. But then I have to... Um, it's honestly not really worth that the Pontiff's left eye unless you have a weapon that's like specifically designed to proc it. So... Having more iframes on my roll is a lot more helpful, in my opinion. Even if it does poop on your defense, but I don't think it's by that much. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and make my way around back there, unlock that shortcut, then I'll uh, swing back up and... Uh, we will call it an episode, I think. Ow, fuck the 
this guy. I hate him. I hate him. He's so agile. It's stupid. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a. Yep. Oh, that leads up to the uh, upper level. I want to go over here because this goes into the caves, which is where I actually want to be. I'm gonna kill his friend. Get that fire gem. I'm gonna sneak up on this mofo. Fall. Thank you. Peace, sun. Alright, then if we go over here, hit that lever, and boom, we got the shortcut. Grab these items real quick, too. I don't want to hang around here too long. Alright, let's head back. Do a little bit of leveling up. Oh God! <laughs> I thought he, I thought he's, I, I, I thought he was done. I thought he was done rolling. That honestly spooked me a little bit. All right, we're gonna go back, back to the fire link. Back to the level ups, the leveling of the oops, and then we shall, oh actually, ooh, hoo -hoo. get that 18 right now, right now, right bucking meow, oh shit he's dead already? But I, what, oh, whoa. I only have four. That doesn't make sense. I'm supposed to have five. And there's supposed to be a lady here. I'm so confused. Okay, well, that's upsetting because now I can't get. Damn. What the fuck? All right. Oh. Whatever. It's not a big deal. We can, we can deal. Goodbye. <laughs> we can we can deal. I think I have I, think I might have enough soul items to get another level up. What do I need? Eleven thousand ish. Yeah, I should. Oh yeah, I definitely have enough. I was honestly expecting that to give me a lot more than it did. Whatever. Boom. Welcome, Very well. then take Level it. that shit up. Boosh. And now. Well, I oh shit, I gotta reduce my weight a bit. Um. Can I upgrade my gloves at all? No, okay, whatever. And now, oh yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm really gonna enjoy using this thing. It looks so cool. And yeah. I can't wait to use this. All right, so I think that's gonna be an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you wanna see more of this shit, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.